this week has been amazing on the pre-season showdown. These exhibition matches have kept me thoroughly entertained. I hope they have done so for you as well. And just to break down what you guys are going to be seeing in the main season. We have Team Nasser joining the fray. Big Bird, Angry Bird, and Samurai. UIU joins with Oil King, NL, and Kami, who will be in our main event next week. Of course, we have Team All In with IDOM, Phenom, and 801 Strider. Mm -hmm. Alpha 3 will be Punk, CJ Truth, as well as Nephew. Then we have Psycho Shinobi, which will be Hot Dog, Infectious, Shin. And then we have Team Dynamite Dog. Problem X, Knuckle Doo, and Smug is the teams that we will be displaying for you guys this season. And I think it's going to be really good. Oh, without a doubt. We get to see little bits of information coming from some of the players and where they're currently at in the status of Street Fighter V with their adaptations towards the, the newest patch, right? We want to see what it's like with their characters for this current season. And I honestly can't wait. I want to see the team dynamic. I want to see how they interact with each other live. I want to see what they have stored for these band picks. I want to see these secondaries come out. I want to see them just grow for the bigger picture. Now, as a whole, with Team Dynamite, Problem X leading the pack with Knuckle Dew and Smug, I'm very confident in their, in their ability to do well. I think that, again, you have a Capcom Cup champion, uh, and then when you have Serious Mode Smug to kind of uh, add that little uh, wrench in the gears, especially with Balrog and G, I think they're... Those they, are definitely so rob, robbery friendly characters. They, they definitely have on the ski mask. They're literally like, look, if you mess up one time, bro, we're in there. Like, they're definitely the characters you have to look. G especially, but just, you know, Smug's Balrog is actually one of those characters that I'm like, well, you never know where that damage is going to come from. You never know when he's going to turn it on. So those are very good points. They all definitely have secondaries. Now I'm switching it up to Psycho Shinobi. We talked about Infectious, uh, proving that he has a secondary as well. We saw Hot Dog earlier uh, play off against Oil King, but with his main character, Bison. I'm, I'm going to be honest here. I'm a little concerned with Psycho Shinobi and what they offer to the table. If they get banned, like say Hot Dog gets banned from Bison, what happens then? What if Sien gets banned from Ibuki? What happens to him? I think this team is very susceptible to the ban rule. No, you're right. Um, I know for a fact that like, so just to talk about Psycho Shinobi, right? Hot Dog, I feel like will be in a lot of trouble um, if they ban his character. However, there's no way he doesn't have a secondary at this point. He's way too good of a player. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He's way too good of a player to be in this situation and not at least have a secondary. He feels confident enough to take on the road versus the best players in the world. I feel like that's your main focus at this point. We're still in the preseason. You still have time. Get started right now. How good that character is going to be, a different discussion altogether. But the fact of the matter is you need to be as prepared as possible. And getting started on the character, whether it be now or later, is the best idea. Infectious, the exact same way. He's in a very intelligent player. We just seen him pull out the can to stop Problem X. But that might be just for Problem X, like you That's said the before. Best part, that honestly. might be, you know, specifically set for Problem X. However, Infectious does have knowledge with a lot of characters, Vicious. So your hating is very well misplaced. Yeah, then I, I did lead it with. Uh, it could be, so I'm the one that said that by the way, it could be Problem X specific. He might have other characters for other players, who knows? I'm I gave him that around. kind of credit. No, hey. no, no. Vicious did say that. He definitely, <laughs> he definitely did say that. And Shin on the back end has a set for sure, has multiple yes. characters for sure. But the question goes right back to, this is world class talent. Is your secondary character good enough to stand toe to toe versus some of the best in the world. And this is not like, hey, take a game or two. This is, you know, we've seen Samurai run it back with Ryu, right? Like these are things that Even you have, Sagat. right? Like these are things that you have to think about. So it's not only gonna be, and that I, I definitely agree with you on that. It's not about like how well you can play the characters, it's how well you can play these characters in a high pressure, high level player situation because you're gonna be running up against multiple threats, not just one. Having a character versus one other character, fine. Versus another player, fine. Versus two other people with potentially multiple other characters, that's a completely different story. So I understand your concern for Psycho Shinobi, um, as well as team cohesion, right? Like this is a ragtag group of players if you ask me because they're in completely different continents at this point. So it's like, how do you form a team around that, right? How do you say, well, hey, look, we play this way, you play this way. These guys are going based off of only the skill they've displayed, 
you know, on these other events. So it's like now, like you go deeper into the meta of Street Fighter League, right? Like how well do these guys work together? The players are amazing. Who knows? Right? The players yeah. are amazing, but yeah. how well can they work you're, together? You're worrying about the team synergy as well as what's going to be on the plate. Like the, uh, I guess the, the tour of the world. Really. Exactly. That's kind of tough. You have to manage so many things. And as captain, it's like, how do you, how do you have to worry about like your own individual play style? who you right. want to play against and also kind of manage your teammates a little bit. I mean, like you're not a full on coach or anything, but at the same time, you have to be there for your teammates to help uh, help them with matchups. If you see something wrong, kind of like Dual Kevin, I feel like we talk about Dual Kevin a lot. He's like the prime example of what a teammate should be, where you spot some of the errors of your opponent and be like, look, I want you to capitalize on this because he's been sticking to said situation or whatever, or said, uh, said scenario and using a certain button, whatever. Um, I think these guys have to really, really hone in on what it's like to be a team and, and, and figure out how they're gonna synergize with each other. And and just to be clear, it's not, you know what I'm saying, anything about like their personalities because they're all super nice people. I've they're met all them chill. all, right? Super they're chill. all super chill. It's just more about like forming a gameplay. If you're on the team, that's part of it. You know, like you have to be able to work together form a competent strategy that works for the entire team and what happens when one of your characters get banned what happens to when your captain gets banned and he had the possible best matchup for the team that you're fighting like yeah. these are all things that are going to play a major role in street fighter league season three but that's enough talking for us this week i hope you guys Aww. enjoyed the post show uh but even more so i hope you're ready for next week's showdown we're gonna go over this one more time for the undercard next week we have shine going up against hollywood, hollywood. rob tv and then we have smug representing dynamite top going up against team uiu's commie but that's gonna be our next main event as well as our undercard match please join us this is getting more and more exciting as we get closer to the final day and the start of Street Fighter League. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next week.